Hey everyone, welcome back to the project. I'm Werewitch, and this is Harry. Greetings to all you plague doctors, and salutations to my fellow creatures of the night. Well done, Harry. Today's video is going to be as quick as possible, showing you the Sinister Evolution Pack for V Rising. There are five DLCs that we're going to be covering in this mini series. Let's get to the video. Okay, so the Sinister Evolution DLC is purely cosmetic. There is no pay to win with these packs that we're going to be going over in this series. Some of the items that we'll be covering will not be available to you until you reach certain points of progression within the game. So try to keep that in mind. All right, we're going to walk through the list of things that you get inside this pack. To start off, we are going to go over the Plague Chemist's casket. We're going to be running back and forth inside the castle to show some of these things off just so that you can see them, how they would be placed maybe within your castle. So this is the casket here. As you can see, it's pretty wicked. It's got this neat glass top spikes off to the side. We like that one. It's pretty neat. Next up on the list is going to be the Plague Chemist's Throne. I'm going to do my best to not get lost in this. And I'm a little bit zoomed in today, too, as well, um, just to make sure you guys can see these details. I'll zoom out a little bit for this one. This is the Chemist's Throne. It behaves just like your normal throne, as you can see there. Pretty neat. The stained glass feature of it looks the same on the back. It's kind of hard to get in there to see it. There you go. There's that. Moving on, this is the Plague Sanctum Gate. Now this one has a servant lock on it. That's why you've got that. Those pink crossed keys there. Pretty cool. This is the... Let's go ahead and open up the build menu so we can look over this real fast. Go into wallpapers. Uh, this is the exterior sanctum walls that you're seeing right here. Have the arch like so. And then this right here is the inner sanctum walls. These here. Pretty cool design. Um, I don't know if I would build a whole castle with some of these things like this. You know, it's going to be up to you, of course. This is just more to show you what each thing is inside the pack. Let's go ahead and move on. These are the windows that you can see behind the statues there, which we'll get to in a moment. Let's go ahead and try to find another one. That is the Plague Sanctum window, glass window. They're pretty cool. I'm trying to zoom in a little bit so you can see those better. Okay, these green lights that you see on these pillars, those are the chemical light mounted chemical light these here they're pretty neat the green glow works really well this does not come within the pack i just wanted to show how the lighting worked off of something that wasn't from the pack these right here are the chemical light podiums they're pretty cool too they've got like a good um mad scientist vibe they look really cool inside of uh, alchemy rooms if you're going with the color green Okay, right here is the Plague Sanctum tiles. And you can see those in contrast with another type of flooring that is not in this. And we'll go ahead and move through the rest. You can see that completely covered on the floor there. Pretty cool stuff. This is the Plague Sanctum carpet here. And now we're gonna be going over the staircases. Here's your classic L shape here mirror on the other side and that is the natural wall of it if you don't have a wall placed and i'm going to show you guys the double here in a second we're going to run towards that now that's the double it's got this cool green racing oh there's a bear outside let's run away from him for a moment i don't know why i'm acting spooked about it i just blow him up and he's not going to aggro because i'm in wolf form uh, but yeah, they've got these uh, cool racing stripes, and I love the design on the handrails here. Really cool stuff. 
and that is the same as well. You can see that hand railing on the side with these. And I believe we've got the single over here that I'll show you off. Show off as well. There you go. We've got this one uh, leading up to the other part of our castle. Okay, that's all the stairwells. Let's go over some of the cool statues that come in this. This is the female version of the Plague Chemist's dedication. Really cool detail that they put on these. You can see there, another vampire. Here's there. Here is the male version. Really cool stuff like deco, Roman style. They look really good next to staircases too, but I wanted to make sure they were in the light so you could see the detail on these guys. But they're really cool. All right, let's move along to the Plague Chemist's Thesis. Now these things look like they're full of bile or piss or who knows what that fluid is, uh, embalming fluid, and I'm sure is what they were trying to say, but you can see there is uh, uh, creatures inside of these being suspended. And those, these don't come in mirrored versions, so you're just gonna have to flip them yourself by rotating them inside the game. Here is the Plague Chemist prototype. This has got some gnarly mutant thing inside of them. I'm doing my best to zoom in here. Pretty cool stuff, man. The detail that they have inside this game is just so, it's just beautiful, man. I don't know what to say. It's neat because it kind of looks like it's got an open top to it too. You could put out your cigarette on the top of that or throw an apple core in there. Okay, moving on. Where is the next one? I believe I placed those up here. Yep, this is the Plague Chemist experiment. You can see there's like something in an embryonic state inside of these. Here is it rotated. Pretty cool stuff. Let's go over our different cosmetic items that are inside the game. Start off, as you can see, we've got the Plague Doctor's mask on here. It's really cool. Love how it looks. The detail on it is just sick. Love the green glowing eyes. It's pretty awesome. We are currently wearing the chemical soaked regalia. This is your fancy one. We're out on a dinner date. Next one down is the chemical soaked cloak. As you can see, it starts getting a little bit more tattered. These have like a green bluish hue on them. Detailing's pretty awesome. And the next one down is the chemical soaked drape. As you can see, it's been completely chewed up at the bottom. This is the first one that you'd be able to wear. And then these just go up in tiers. So one, two, and then three. And finally, we have the Plague Chemist Saddle, which can be equipped on your vampiric horse once you have unlocked the ability to do so on your vampiric steed. Uh, this is England here. He is showing it off for us. Uh, as you can see, there is a mad scientist Frankenstein vibe going on with it. It is really cool. I think it is the main reason if you're looking to purchase this pack, it is, it is because of this. It's very cool. Let's go ahead and show off. What it does, as you can see, all the cool electricity and smoke is just, it's just awesome, man. This is very cool. I really like this one. Like the uh, horror theme Frankenstein vibe that it gets off. I, I, just, I just think it's awesome. Definitely the coolest thing in the pack, in my opinion. Hope that helped you guys out. Okay, everyone. That covers this DLC for V Rising. If this video helped you decide whether or not to nab this one up, let us know in the comments. And if you want to see the other DLCs for V Rising, we'll have those in our V Rising playlist that should pop at the end of this video. If you enjoyed what you saw today, maybe slap that like button, subscribe, and feel free to share our videos with a friend. That stuff helps us out more than we could ever thank you for. 
We've got all kinds of content for V Rising on our channel and for the games that we play on the project. We've got tips, tricks, guides, full gameplay episodes with tips peppered into them as well. Yeah, it, and Witch has wasted all kinds of time playing V Rising too. L like what, 600 some odd hours? I'd prefer not to confirm or deny that. Uh, not as much as some other games, I'll say that. So if you have any questions, leave those in the comments as well. That's right, H. I'm happy to help our community whenever I'm available. So with that being said, see you guys later, and th thanks for watching the video. I'm supposed to say that. You're you're off script, man. I'll say whatever I want. No, dude. There's a format that we're trying to adhere to. Adhere to a doorman. Gross. I, Maybe it's time to wash it then. I said format. Floor mat. Format. Rorschach. <laughs> you know, he's my favorite superhero. Never mind. <laughs>